Uh, Business Botswana sits in the presidential task force, uh, representing private sector. We are there essentially to ensure that there's national coordination of this pandemic. Our position as Business Botswana is really to support the position of the government of Botswana and the position of the World Health Organization as authorities in terms of dealing and containing and um, you know working on how this pandemic can be uh, held on its tracks. We, we are a complementary sector to, to the Minister of Health. We, we, the Minister of Health, the nation meets our, our sector. Yeah, and, and we need to be um, you know, on our toes, we need to be active, we need to be in our right minds, you know, to be able to complement uh, the, the, public health, the public health sector. And um, uh, COVID and all the interventions that are, uh, you know, are done now in response to COVID are, are quite unique, especially with the, this yeah, huge one, the, the lockdown. You know, it has actually changed the whole picture. With this pandemic, it's not about a week, it's not about a month, it is literally the situation changes in hours. So we meet uh, on a regular basis and regular, I'm talking about three, four times a week, and we fit into the presidential task force. We fit into our different ministries, for example, Minister of Labor, uh, Minister of Trade, Minister of Finance, and we talk to the permanent secretaries there on a very regular basis. What we have put before the Minister of Health uh, um, was that the private sector is ready to, to assist uh, the government. Um, we've presented our position to government on what we think we can do. One of the key issues that we put before the Minister of Health was private sector is rich as far as human resources is concerned. So we have lined our people, we have lined doctors, we have lined radiographers, different associations, you know, from pharmaceutical industry, radiographers, association, medical doctors, uh, medical practitioners group of Botswana. We have mobilized all associations to put positions before us as the sector on what they could do, uh, what they can do for the nation. So we have bundled that position and we presented it to the Minister of Health. And, um, you know, after going through um, I mean, after having a conversation on these things, we concluded that we need a, a joint task force, task force between the Minister of Health and and and, and, and the private sector. Uh, you know that can un unbundle these issues. You know, so that we can actually know exactly what we do. We, we, uh, we can do, uh, and uh, I mean, uh, as, as as collaboration. As far as uh support from the business community, contributions towards uh, the COVID-19 uh, COVID uh, pandemic. There's been a very positive response from the business community, uh, both in terms of monetary response and in kind response. We would like to see more from the business community, but then we need, we need guidance also from government because there is business people out there who are saying, Mr. Given, we are physically available. If there's work to be done with hands, with minds, we will come and bring in our uh, you know, knowledge to help with this COVID thing. But as far as uh, monetary contributions are concerned, um, the last statement that was made by, I think the president was sitting at 21 million. I'm confident, confident to say that it's probably cash, it's probably sitting at more than 50 million as we talk now. Uh, uh, but there's also a lot of in-kind contribution. Just yesterday, for example, uh, we were at uh, a government depot with the Ministry of Health officials where Coca-Cola brought in a whole truck load of 60 tons of um, water, uh, Coca-Cola, energy drinks, juices, etc. And there was uh, three trucks from Bokomo there bringing in supplies. And I know that I had a meeting with Choppies the other day. They were giving up supplies also to constituency. So there's there's a lot that private sector is doing, as I say, both monetary and in kind. In closing, I would like to continue to urge private sector uh, to help. And, and the help comes, as I was saying earlier on, it comes in very, 
very different ways. My last words is we need to say to the nation, COVID is real. COVID is real. We need to um, listen to the pieces of advice, especially from the Minister of Health. Um, we need to um, listen carefully and follow carefully. I think we are seeing a lot of movement around. Um, we are supposed to be home. We are seeing a lot of movements. And, and the second issue that worries me a lot is, I think as you go around, you are seeing um, a lot of what looks like a fake as, uh, hand sanitizers. And, you know, amid a situation where now uh, we're seeing an increase in the cases, um, one gets to worry um, about, uh, you know, the hand sanitizers that we see, especially in the, you know, in the retailers. Um, we need to ask them, we need to be uh, saying to our manufacturers, let's take this thing serious. When we say alcohol-based uh, uh, sanitizers, and we say 70% or more, that's what we mean. We don't just mean alcohol content, but let it be 70% or more, because there is a reason why we say 70% or more. Because if you're going to be using a sanitizer that is less, believe me, you are doing nothing. And this is a serious condition, and we need to take it serious. And um, we need to encourage our frontliners who are busy now, who are in the front line, uh, saving lives, working so hard, tirelessly for the nation. We need to encourage them to keep on you know, pushing. And they need to stand strong in the fight against COVID. We are with them. BB, uh, BB board, management and staff, um, we are behind them. Our members are behind them. And eventually we win this one.